All right, in this video, we're gonna show a quick example of how we're actually gonna upload some contacts to our database here in FOB. We got JJ. JJ's got like 2,900 contacts, so he's gonna spend some time filtering them, but we just wanna show you the first six of the contacts that we wanna add to here and how we add them. And again, the reason we wanna filter them is JJ, show us that big list you have again of all those contacts. Yeah, so what we did was we sorted the sheet with the A column by making sure that that A column had just, it was only showing where it was filled in. We didn't wanna see anybody that didn't have a first name. And then in the B column, we sorted it by ascending so that it would be filled with people that have first names and last names. So that's the first thing that we did. JJ is gonna spend time later going through this and culling this list, getting rid of all the people that he's not planning on trading real estate with that aren't in the country, or maybe they're not in the country, but if they had connections to the country, we'd keep them, like they might refer us out business, but more than likely not. So we're gonna go through and delete that before you make a big mess and add them to your follow boss and have a big giant mess you need to clean up. So JJ, you've already exported a CSV file of a couple people that we selected. So let's right. go back now to um, FUB there, follow up boss. And okay. let's go ahead and click import again. So I think it's under admin. Awesome. Yep, that's perfect. Okay. Yes, I confirm. Yes, okay, so we're back in this video. The mistake that you might run into is when you're saving that file, JJ, show us what we did wrong. So when we went to yeah. click export, uh, when you go to file and numbers and you're exporting this, you want to make sure that once you click export to CSV file, you do not check the click CSV. Yep. You do not mm -hmm. check include table names that messed us up for whatever reason. So don't click that. And then now let's go back to follow boss. We can see there's all these vertical sections. So it did a good job actually of intelligently picking out which column was which. So go to the first one. You can see the first name column is first name. So go ahead and click save. And then the next one should pop up. And then it's, it's saying, what is this vertical list of information? And it is assuming it's last name, which is accurate. So you can go ahead and click save. Yep. And then the next one is also phone number, which it nailed. So you can go ahead and click uh, edit and then click save uh, or mm -hmm. yeah, just move on to the next one. So company for this one here, I would click skip. Yep, and it's, it shows, it says there will not be imported. If that was a mistake, you could click edit and change the information. Now, so cool. this, this one over here on the right, this is not useful either, so we click skip. Now, you see how there's a button that says show skip columns? That's good, that's fine. You could toggle that on and off. It's just gonna show right. you the stuff that we skipped, okay? And then yep. we're gonna click save and continue. So essentially, with these people here, none of them had emails, okay? And that was true right. in the CSV file, so that's okay. Now, mm -hmm. when you're adding this step here, we're gonna click the stage for these contacts is in fact a sphere. So we're gonna add them all as sphere because they're already people that you know. And then tag wise, we're gonna go ahead and click add a tag. We've already created these tags. So if you just type in JJ, oh, they deleted them because we deleted the contacts. So what right. we're gonna do is yeah. we're gonna type in the agent's first name. So JJ Honison and then dash sphere. This is very important when you have multiple team members so that you're not all sharing your sphere together. We know whose sphere is whose. Click add that and then type in the next thing, which is JJ, just uh, just put a dash in between sphere and then write import, yep, dash, and then put the date, October 13th, 2023, and then dash sphere. That's perfect. So that's just showing us a couple things. It's showing us this is a very specific import that was on this day. We're gonna happen to have two of these because you're gonna do a bigger import later. And then just click save tags and we should see at the bottom, there should be two tags and voila. All right, this is JJ's <laughs> iPhone import on October 13th. It's his sphere. And then separately, because we could have multiple imports, right? And we want to label right. those imports based on the date that they were imported in case anything got corrupted or whatever. But we also want them all to be tagged your sphere so that all the imports are also in your sphere bucket. Go ahead and click start import. And Sweet. awesome. Now you're going to have these click view imported and then click on oh, wow. Angie. Amazing. And what's awesome is if we go to Angie, we'll see some info on her. So if you click on Angie real quick, we'll notice that her sphere right there. So her source was she was an import. Where did she come from? She came from an import from a phone list, which is great. Her stage is she's a sphere. And then the tags are she's an import who is a JJ import who is JJ sphere. Okay, so perfect. Right. Now, the only other thing we're going to do with our last with our list here, and this is much more manual, is I want you to click the little plus button. Yeah, click that little plus button yeah. and then gotcha. type yeah. in last name. Now, 
This is a little bit of a secret for you guys watching this as well, but see how it says it's got all these different lists. Just scroll through that JJ so they can see what tags they need to create. You're going to create right. all these same last name tags and JJ, you're not going to do it because I've done it for you. But for the viewers watching this video, they'll have to create it. Click last name A or W and then save tags. Now, the reason this is important is that every month, essentially, you can sort all everyone in your sphere by those last name tags to phone them up so that, you know, every month Month, you can go through and call everybody on your sphere. That's there's a couple different right. ways to do it. This just helps take your giant sphere and break it into groups. Those last name tag groups like A or W, whatever, like all the different groups that they created are right. mathematically sorted by the last names groups that are the most likely to have an even number of contacts for you every time you're picking up the phone to call. So like the A or W list is probably the same size as the B and E list or whatever all those lists were that we created. So if you go through and systematically tag all your people with those last name groups, you can then sort your sphere by that list and not have to call everyone in your sphere in the entire year. You can break it into like this month, these are the hundred people in my sphere that I got to call. This month, these are the hundred people and you can sort them by last names, okay? Awesome. A little bit of a guru thing that I picked up from Ke Keller Williams, but um, really helpful. So awesome, man. Cool. And then we're off to the races.